Mangalore, officially known as Mangaluru, is the chief port city of the Indian state of Karnataka. It is located about 352 kilometers (219 miles) west of the state capital, Bangalore, between the Arabian Sea and the Western Ghats mountain range. It is the second major city in Karnataka state in all aspects after the capital city Bangalore. It is the only city in Karnataka to have all modes of transport, air, road, rail and sea along with five other major cities in India. It is also known as the Gateway of Karnataka. It is the largest city in the Tulu Nadu region of Karnataka. Mangalore is the second best business destination in Karnataka after Bangalore and 13th best in India. The population of the urban agglomeration was 623,841, according to the provisional results of the 2011 National Census of India. Mangalore developed as a port in the Arabian Sea during ancient times and became a major port of India. This port handles 75% of India's coffee and cashew exports. The port is used as a staging point for sea traffic along the Malabar coast. This coastal city was ruled by several major powers, including the Kadambas, Alupas, Vijayanagar Empire, Kaladi Nayaks and the Portuguese. The city was a source of contention between the British and the Mysore rulers, Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. Eventually annexed by the British in 1799, Mangalore remained part of the Madras Presidency until India's independence in 1947. The city was unified with the state of Mysore now called Karnataka in 1956. Mangalore is the largest city and administrative headquarters of the Dakshina Kannada district, and is one of the most multicultural non-metro cities of India. It is also the largest city in the coastal and Malnad regions of Karnataka, besides being a commercial, industrial, educational and healthcare hub on the west coast of India. This port city has the second largest airport in Karnataka. Mangalore city urban agglomeration extends from Ulal in the south to Surathkal in the north, covering a distance of over 30 kilometres The city has extended in the eastward direction up to Vimanjore and Padil. The city's landscape is characterized by rolling hills, coconut palms, freshwater streams and hard red clay tiled roof buildings. This coastal city has many skyscrapers of 30 and 40 plus floors. India's first and only 3D planetarium is situated in the port city of Mangalore. Mangalore is also included in the Smart Cities mission list and one among the 100 smart cities to be developed in India. The city has an average elevation of 22 meters 72 feet above mean sea level. Mangalore has a tropical monsoon climate and is under the influence of the southwest monsoon. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology. Mangalore was named after the deity Mangaladevi, the presiding deity of the Mangaladevi temple or a synonym of Tara Bhagavati of the Vajrayana Buddhist sect. According to local legend, a princess from Malabar named Paramala or Premaladevi renounced her kingdom and became a disciple of Matsyendranath, the founder of the Nath tradition. Having converted Premaladevi to the Nath sect, Matsyendranath renamed her Mangaladevi. She arrived in the area with Matsyendranath, but had to settle near Bolar in Mangalore as she fell ill on the way. Eventually she died, and the Mangaladevi temple was consecrated in her honour at Bolar by the local people after her death. The city got its name from the temple. One of the earliest references to the city's name was made in 715 CE by the Pandyan king Chedian, who called the city Mangalapuram. The city and the coastal region was a part of the Pandyan kingdom. According to K.V. Ramesh, president of the Place Names Society of India, Mangaluru was first heard in 1345 CE during the Vijayanagar rule. Many Shilashasanas stones of Vijayanagar period refer the city as Mangalapura. Even before that, during the Alupa dynasty period, it was referred to as Mangalapura Mangala means auspicious. The city is well known as Mangaluru in Kannada, a reference to Mangaladevi, the suffix uru means town or city. During the British rule from 1799, Mangalore anglicised from Mangaluru, stuck as the official appellation. However, according to historian George M. Morais, the word, Mangalore, is the Portuguese corruption of Mangaluru. The name of this town also appears in maps as early as the 1652 Sansan map of India. Mangalore's diverse communities have different names for the city in their languages. In Tulu, the primary spoken language, the city is called Kudla, meaning Junction, 
since the city is situated at the confluence of the Netravati and Gurupura rivers. In Konkani, Mangalore is referred to as Kodial, while in Malayalam, Mangalore is called Mangalapuram and the Bari name for the city is Mykala. History Early and medieval history Mangalore's historical importance is highlighted by the many references to the city by foreign travellers. During the 1st century CE, Pliny the Elder, a Roman historian, made references to a place called Nitrias, as a very undesirable place for disembarkation, on account of the pirates which frequent its vicinity, while Greek historian Ptolemy in the 2nd century CE referred to a place called Nitra. Ptolemy and Pliny the Elder's references were probably made to the Netravati River, which flows through Mangalore. Cosmas Indicaplustes, a Greek monk, in his 6th century work Christian Topography mentions Malabar as the chief seat of the pepper trade, and Mangaruth port of Mangalore as one of the five pepper marts which exported pepper. Mangalore is the heart of a distinct multilinguistic—cultural region, South Kanara, the homeland of the Tulu-speaking people. In the 3rd century BCE, the town formed part of the Maurya Empire, ruled by the Buddhist emperor, Ashoka of Magadha. From the 3rd century CE to 6th century CE, the Kadamba dynasty, whose capital was based in Banavasi in North Kanara, ruled over the entire Kanara region as independent rulers. From the middle of the 7th century to the end of the 14th century, the South Kanara region was ruled by its own native Alupa rulers. The Alupas ruled over the region as feudatories of major regional dynasties like the Chalukas of Badami, Rashtrakutas of Manyaheta, Chalukas of Kalyani, and Hoysalas of Dwarasamudra. During the reign of the Alupa king Kavi Alupendra 1110 the city was visited by the Tunisian Jewish merchant Abraham ben Yiju, who travelled between the Middle East and India during the 12th century. The Moroccan traveller Ibn Battuta, who had visited the town in 1342, referred to it as Manjurur, and stated that the town was situated on a large estuary, called the Estuary of the Wolf, and was the greatest estuary in the country of Malabar. By 1345, the Vijayanagara rulers brought the region under their control. During the Vijayanagara period 1345 South Kanara was divided into Mangalore and Barkar Rajas provinces, and two governors were appointed to look after each of them from Mangalore and Barkar. But many times only one governor ruled over both Mangalore and Barkar Rajas, and when the authority passed into the hands of Kaladi rulers 1560 they had a governor at Barkar alone. In 1448, Abdur Razak, the Persian ambassador of Sultan Shah Rukh of Samarkand, visited Mangalore, en route to the Vijayanagara court. The Italian traveller, Ludovico di Varthima, who visited India in 1506 says that he witnessed nearly 60 ships laden with rice ready for sale in the port of Mangalore. <laughs> Foundation and early modern history European influence in Mangalore can be traced back to 1498, when the Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama landed at St. Mary's Islands near Mangalore. In the 16th century, the Portuguese came to acquire substantial commercial interests in Canara. Krishnadevaraya (1509–1529), the then ruler of the Vijayanagara Empire, maintained friendly relations with the Portuguese. The Portuguese trade was gradually gathering momentum and they were striving to destroy the Arab and Mopla trade along the coast. In 1524, when Vasco da Gama heard that the Muslim merchants of Calicut had agents at Mangalore and Basroor, he ordered the rivers to be blockaded. In 1526, the Portuguese under the viceroyship of Lopo Vaz de Sampaio took possession of Mangalore. The coastal trade passed out of Muslim hands into Portuguese hands. In 1550, the Vijayanagara ruler, Sadashiva Raya, entrusted the work of administering the coastal region of Kanara to Sadashiv Nayaka of Kaladi. By 1554, he was able to establish political authority over South Kanara. The disintegration of the Vijayanagara Empire in 1565 gave the rulers of Kaladi greater power in dealing with the coastal Kanara region. They continued the Vijayanagara administrative system. The two provinces of Mangalore and Barkar continued to exist. The governor of Mangalore also acted as the governor of the Kaladi army in his province. 
The Italian traveller Pietro della Valle visited here in 1623 1624. In 1695, the town was torched by Arabs in retaliation to Portuguese restrictions on Arab trade. Hyder Ali, the de facto ruler of the Kingdom of Mysore, conquered Mangalore in 1763, consequently bringing the city under his administration until 1767. Mangalore was ruled by the British East India Company from 1767 to 1783, but was subsequently wrested from their control in 1783 by Hyder Ali's son, Tipu Sultan, who renamed it Jalalabad. The Second Anglo-Mysore War ended with the Treaty of Mangalore, signed between Tipu Sultan and the British East India Company on the 11th of March 1784. After the defeat of Tipu at the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War, the city remained in control of the British, headquartering the South Kanara district under the Madras Presidency. According to the Scottish physician Francis Buchanan who visited Mangalore in 1801, Mangalore was a rich and prosperous port with flourishing trading activity. Rice was the grand article of export, and was exported to Muscat, Bombay, Goa and Malabar. Supari or betel nut was exported to Bombay, Surat and Kutch. Pepper and sandalwood were exported to Bombay. Turmeric was exported to Muscat, Kutch, Surat and Bombay, along with cassia cinnamon, sugar, iron, saltpetre, ginger, core and timber. The British colonial government did not support industrialization in the region, and local capital remained invested mostly in land and money lending, which led to the later development of banking in the region. With the arrival of European missionaries in the early 19th century, the region saw the development of educational institutions and a modern industrial base, modelled on European industries. The opening of the Lutheran Swiss Basel Mission in 1834 was central to the industrialization process. Printing press, cloth weaving mills and factories manufacturing Mangalore tiles were set up by the missionaries. When Kanara part of the Madras Presidency until this time was bifurcated into North Kanara and South Kanara in 1859, Mangalore was transferred into South Kanara and became its headquarters. South Kanara remained under Madras Presidency, while North Kanara was detached from Madras Presidency and transferred to Bombay Presidency in 1862. Topic Later modern and contemporary history The enactment of the Madras Town Improvement Act 1865 mandated the establishment of the Municipal Council on 23 May 1866, which was responsible for urban planning and providing civic amenities. The Italian Jesuits, who arrived in Mangalore in 1878, played an important role in education, economy, health, and social welfare of the city. The linking of Mangalore in 1907 to the Southern Railway, and the subsequent proliferation of motor vehicles in India, further increased trade and communication between the city and the rest of the country. By the early 20th century, Mangalore had become a major supplier of educated manpower to Bombay, Bangalore, and the Middle East. As a result of the State's Reorganization Act 1956, Mangalore, part of the Madras Presidency until this time, was incorporated into the dominion of the newly created Mysore state, now called Karnataka. Mangalore is the fourth largest city of Karnataka in terms of population and eighth largest port of India, providing Karnataka with access to the Arabian Sea coastline. Mangalore experienced significant growth in the decades 1970–80, with the opening of New Mangalore Port in 1974 and commissioning of Mangalore Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited in 1976. <laughs> <laughs> Geography and climate Mangalore is located at 12.87 degrees north 74.88 degrees east, 12.87, 74.88 in the Dakshina Kannada district of Karnataka. It has an average elevation of 22 metres 72 feet above mean sea level. It is the administrative headquarters of the Dakshina Kannada district, the largest urban coastal centre of Karnataka. Mangalore is situated on the west coast of India, and is bounded by the Arabian Sea to its west and the Western Ghats to its east. Mangalore City, as a municipal entity, spans an area of 184 square kilometres 71.04 square miles. Mangalore experiences moderate to gusty winds during daytime and gentle winds at night. The topography of the city is plain up to 30 kilometers (18.64 miles) inside the coast and changes to undulating hilly terrain sharply towards the east in western ghats. The geology of the city is characterized by hard laterite in hilly tracts and sandy soil along the seashore. 
The Geological Survey of India has identified Mangalore as a moderately earthquake prone urban centre and categorised the city in the seismic 3 zone. The Netravati and Gurupura rivers rivers encircle the city, with the Gurupura flowing around the north and the Netravati flowing around the south of the city. The rivers form an estuary at the southwestern region of the city and subsequently flow into the Arabian Sea. Coconut trees, palm trees, and ashoka trees comprise the primary vegetation of the city. Under the Köppen climate classification, Mangalore has a tropical monsoon climate and is under the direct influence of the Arabian Sea branch of the southwest monsoon. It receives about 95% of its total annual rainfall within a period of about six months from May to October, while remaining extremely dry from December to March. The average annual precipitation in Mangalore is 3,796.9 mm Humidity is approximately 75% on average, and peaks during May, June and July. The maximum average humidity is 93% in July and average minimum humidity is 56% in January. The driest and least humid months are from December to February. During this period, temperatures during the day stay below 34 degrees Celsius (93 degrees Fahrenheit) and drop to about 19 degrees Celsius (66 degrees Fahrenheit) at night. The lowest recorded temperature at Panambur is 15.6 degrees Celsius 60 degrees Fahrenheit on January 8, 1992, and at Bajpay it is 15.9 degrees Celsius 61 degrees Fahrenheit on November 19, 1974. In Mangalore, the temperature has never touched 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit, according to the India Meteorological Department IMD. The highest ever recorded temperature in Mangalore is 38.1 degrees Celsius 101 degrees Fahrenheit on March 13, 1985. The summer gives way to the monsoon season, when the city experiences the highest precipitation among all urban centres in India, due to the influence of the Western Ghats. The rains subside in September, with the occasional rainfall in October. The highest rainfall recorded in a 24-hour period is 330.8 mm in on the 22nd of June 2003. In the year 1994, Mangalore received very heavy annual rainfall of 5018.52 mm in. Topic: Economy Mangalore's economy comprises industrial, commercial, agricultural processing and port-related activities. The new Mangalore port is India's eighth-largest port, in terms of cargo handling. It handles 75% of India's coffee exports and the bulk of its cashew nuts. During 2001, Mangalore generated a revenue of 33.47 crore rupees $4.66 million to the state. Imports through Mangalore Harbour include crude oil, edible oil, LPG, and timber. The city along with Tuticorin is also one of two points for import of wood to South India. The city's major petrochemical industries include BASF, Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited MRPL, Mangalore Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited MCF, Kudremic Iron Ore Company Limited KIOCL, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited HPCL, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited BPCL, JBF Petrochemicals and Total Oil India Limited. The Oil and Natural Gas Corporation ONGC plans to invest over 35,000 crore rupees $4.87 billion in a new 15 million ton refinery, petrochemical plant and power, as well as LNG plants at the Mangalore Special Economic Zone. Indian Strategic Petroleum Reserves Limited, a special purpose vehicle under the Oil Industry Development Board, has developed strategic crude oil reserves in Mangalore and two other places in India. Out of the 5 million metric tons MMT storage, 1.5 MMT is stored at Mangalore. India has built 5.33 million tons of strategic crude oil storages at Mangalore, Padur near Udupi in Karnataka and at Visakhapatnam to ensure energy security. Bharati Shipyard Limited BSL, now known as Bharati Defence and Infrastructure Limited has established its ship building site near Tanurbavi in Mangalore. Major information technology IT and outsourcing companies like Infosys, Cognizant Technology Solutions and Endurance International Group have their branches at Mangalore. Emphasis BPO has one of its branches at Mangalore. 
two IT parks, namely, Export Promotion Industrial Park at Ganjamut and Special Economic Zone near Mangalore University have been constructed. There is an IT tech park by the name Soria Infratech Park situated in Mudipu. Corporation Bank, Kanara Bank and Vijaya Bank were the three nationalized banks established in Mangalore during the first half of the 20th century. Mangalore is the headquarters of Corporation Bank and Karnataka Bank. The Mangalore Catholic Cooperative Bank MCC Bank Limited, Mangalore Cooperative Town Bank Limited and SCDCC Bank were the scheduled banks established in Mangalore. The leaf spring industry has its presence in Mangalore, with Kanara Workshops Limited and Lamina Suspension Products Limited in the city. The old Mangalore port is a fishing port located at Bundar in Mangalore, where a large number of mechanized boats anchor. The traffic at this port was 122,000 tons during the years 2003-04. Fishing is a traditional occupation, and the products are exported to the surrounding regions. Mangalorean firms have a major presence in the tile, beedi, coffee, and cashew nut industry, although the tile industry has declined due to concrete being preferred in modern construction. The Albuquerque Tile Factory in Mangalore is one of India's oldest red roof tile manufacturing factories. The Ulal suburb of Mangalore produces hosiery and core yarns, while beedi rolling is an important source of revenue to many in the city. Demographics Mangalore is known as Kudla in Tulu, Kodial in Konkani, Mykala in Bari, Mangaluru in Kannada and Mangalapuram in Malayalam. The city has a population of 623,841 as per the 2011 census of India. Male literacy rate was 96.49%, while the female literacy rate was 91.63%. About 8.5% population was under 6 years of age. The Human Development Index HDI of Mangalore City is 0.83. The death rate and infant mortality rate were at 3.7% and 1.2% respectively. According to the 2011 census, 7,726 people reside in slums in Mangalore City, which is 1.55% of the total population. The languages spoken in Mangalore are Tulu, Konkani, Kannada, Bari, English, Malayalam, and Hindi. Hinduism is the largest religion in Mangalore, with Devadiga, Mogavira, Bilavas, Ganagas, Bunts, Vishwakarma, Kota Brahmins, Shivali Brahmins, Havyaka Brahmins, Stanika Brahmins, God Saraswat Brahmins, GSB. And Chiphaven Brahmins. Divadnias are the major communities in Hindus. Christians form a sizable section of Mangalorean society, with Mangalorean Catholics accounting for the largest Christian community. Protestants in Mangalore typically speak Kannada. Anglo Indians were also part of the Mangalorean Christian community. Mangalore has one of the highest percentage of Muslims as compared to other cities in Karnataka. Most Muslims in Mangalore are Baris, who speak the Bari language. Majority of them follow the Shafi'i school of fiqh, Islamic jurisprudence. Mangalore also has a small group of Urdu speaking Dahini Muslims. There is also a small community of Tuluva Jains, Gujaratis, and Marathis. Culture Many classical dance forms and folk art are practiced in the city. The Yakshagana, a night-long dance and drama performance, is held in Mangalore, while Pilivsha, literally, tiger dance, a folk dance unique to the city, is performed during Dussehra and Krishna Janmashtami. Karadi Vesha, literally, bear dance, is another well-known dance performed during Dussehra. Padana's ballad-like epics passed on through generations by word of mouth are sung by a community of impersonators in Tulu and are usually accompanied by the rhythmic drum beats. The Berry's unique traditions are reflected in such folk songs as Kolkai sung during Kalada, a valor folk dance during which sticks used as props, Unjal Pat traditional lullaby, Moilanji Pat, and Apun Pat sung at weddings. The Eucharistic Prashan Konkani, Eucharistic procession is an annual Catholic religious procession led on the first Sunday of each year. The Srimanti Bai Memorial Government Museum in Baha'i is the only museum in Mangalore. Most of the popular Indian festivals are celebrated in the city, the most important being Dussehra, Diwali, Christmas, Easter, Eid, and Ganesh Chaturthi. 
Kodil Thiru, also known as Mangaluru Rathatsava Mangalore Car Festival is a festival unique to the God Saraswat Brahmin community, and is celebrated at the Sri Venkatramana Temple in Mangalore. The Mangalorean Catholics community's unique festivals include Monty Fest Mother Mary's Feast, which celebrates the Nativity Feast and the Blessing of New Harvests. The Jain Milan, a committee comprising Jain families of Mangalore, organizes the Jain Food Festival annually, while festivals such as Moseru Kudike, which is part of Krishna Janmashtami festival, is celebrated by the whole community. Aati, a festival worshipping Kalanya, a patron spirit of the city, occurs during the Ashada month of Hindu calendar. Festivals such as Karavali Utsav and Kudlatsava are highlighted by national and state level performances in dance, drama and music. Buddha Kola spirit worship, is usually performed by the Tuluva community at night. Nagaradhan snake worship, is performed in the city in praise of Naga Devatha the serpent king, who is said to be the protector of all snakes. An ancient ritual associated with the Hindu temples in rural areas, Kori Kata, a religious and spiritual cockfight, is held at the temples and also allowed if organized as part of religious or cultural events. Civic administration The Mangalore City Corporation is the municipal corporation in charge of the civic and infrastructural assets of the city. Mangalore has a city area of 184 square kilometers, 71.04 square miles. Municipal limits begin with Surathkal in the north to Netravati River Bridge in the south and Western Sea Shore to Vimanjore in the east. The MCC council comprises 60 elected representatives called corporators, one from each of the 60 wards, localities of the city. A corporator from the majority party is selected as a mayor. The headquarters of Mangalore City Corporation is at Lalba, until the revision of Lok Sabha and the legislative constituencies by the Delimitation Commission. Mangalore contributed two members to the Lok Sabha, one for the southern part of the city which fell under the Mangalore Lok Sabha constituency, and another for the northern part of the city which fell under the Udupi Lok Sabha constituency. Additionally, Mangalore sends three members to the Karnataka Legislative Assembly from Mangalore City South, Mangalore City North, and Mangalore. With the revision, the entire Mangalore Taluk now falls under the Dakshina Kannada Lok Sabha constituency, resulting in Mangalore contributing only one member of parliament MP. .The Mangalore City Police Department is headed by a commissioner of police. Mangalore is also the headquarters of the Western Range Police, covering the western districts of Karnataka, which is headed by an Inspector General of Police IGP. Education The pre-collegiate mediums of instruction in schools are predominantly English and Kannada, and the medium of instruction in educational institutions after matriculation is English. Schools and colleges in Mangalore are either government-run or run by private trusts and individuals. The schools are affiliated with either the Karnataka State Board, Indian Certificate of Secondary Education ICSE, the Central Board for Secondary Education CBSE, and the National Institute of Open Schooling NIOS boards. The earliest schools established in Mangalore were the Kanara High School 1891, Basel Evangelical School 1838, St Anne's High School 1870, Rosario High School 1858, and Milagres School 1848. Popular educational institutions in the city are The Kasturba Medical College established in 1953, was India's first private medical college and also Manipal College of Dental Sciences MCODS established. A public library run by the Corporation Bank, is located at Managuda in Mangalore. Mangalore University was established on 10 September 1980. It caters to the higher educational needs of Dakshina Kannada, Udupi and Kodagu districts, and is a National Assessment and Accreditation Council accredited four-star level institution. Transport Air 
Mangalore International Airport IATA, IXE, is an international airport which is located near Bajpay, Kenjar, and is located about 13 km 8 miles northeast of the Mangalore city centre. It operates regular scheduled flights to major cities in India and the Middle East. It is the second largest and second busiest airport in the state of Karnataka. The new terminals and runways at the airport accommodate both cargo and passenger requirements. State-run government buses Vajra Volvo ply between the city and the airport. <inaudible> Road Five national highways pass through Mangalore. NH66, previously known as NH17, which runs from Panvel in Maharashtra to Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu, passes through Mangalore in a north-south direction and connects with Udupi, Bhatkal, Karwar, Goa, etc. in north and Kannur, Kochi, Tiruvananthapuram, etc. in the south, while NH75, previously known as NH48, runs eastward to Bangalore and Velour. NH-169 previously known as NH-13 runs northeast from Mangalore to Shimoga. NH-73, a 315 km long national highway connects Mangalore to Tumkur. NH-275 also connects Mangalore with Bangalore via Mysore. National Highways Authority of India NHAI is upgrading the national highways connecting New Mangalore port to Surathkal on NH-66 and BC Road Junction on NH-75. Under the Port Connectivity Program of the National Highways Development Project NHDP, a 37.5 km .3 miles stretch of these highways will be upgraded from two-lane to four-lane roads, even though Mangalore's city bus service is dominated by private operators, with routes covering the full extent of the city and beyond. Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation KSRTC is plying buses in multiple routes. Two distinct sets of routes for the buses exist. City routes are covered by city buses, while intercity routes are covered by service and express buses. KSRTC operates long-distance bus services from Mangalore to other parts of the state. The other key players who run bus services from Mangalore are the Dakshina Kannada Bus Operators Association and the Kanara Bus Operators Association there are also KSRTC J and NURM green color city buses plying from the State Bank bus stand. These buses travel to different parts of the city and its suburbs. Cab providers like Ola Cabs and Uber also offer transport services in the city, and their services are extended to the Mangalore International Airport. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rail Rail connectivity in Mangalore was established in 1907. Mangalore was also the starting point of India's longest rail route. The city has three railway stations Mangalore Central at Hampankata, Mangalore Junction at Kankanadi, and Surathkal Railway Station at Surathkal. A railway track, built through the Western Ghats, connects Mangalore with Hassan. The broad gauge track connecting Mangalore to Bangalore via Hassan was opened to freight traffic in May 2006 and passenger traffic in December 2007. Mangalore is also connected to Chennai, Tiruvananthapuram, Kochi, and Kolam through the Southern Railway and to Mumbai, Bhatkal, Karwar, Gujarat, Ajmer and Goa via the Konkan Railway. C. The Mangalore Harbour has shipping, storage, and logistical services, while the new Mangalore port handles dry, bulk, and fluid cargoes. The new Mangalore port is also equipped to handle petroleum oil lubricants, crude products and LPG containers. It is also the station for the Coast Guard. This artificial harbour is India's eighth largest port, in terms of cargo handling, and is the only major port in Karnataka. Foreigners can enter Mangalore through the new Mangalore port with the help of electronic visa e -visa. Cruise ships from Europe, North America and UAE arrive at new Mangalore port. <laughs> Sports Cricket Cricket is a popular sport in the city. Mangala Stadium and BR. Ambedkar Cricket Stadium near NMPT are Dakshina Kannada District's full-fledged cricket stadiums, situated in Mangalore. 
The Sports Authority of India has also set up a sports training centre at the stadium. Mangalore United is a Mangalore based Karnataka Premier League KPL franchise owned by FISA developers. Mangalore Premier League MPL is a cricket tournament organised by the Karnataka Regional Cricket Academy. The Central Maiden or Nehru Maiden in Mangalore is another important venue hosting domestic tournaments and many inter school and collegiate tournaments. The Mangalore Sports Club MSC is a popular organization in the city and has been elected as the institutional member for the Mangalore zone of the Karnataka State Cricket Association KSCA. Lokesh Rahul, commonly known as KL Rahul and Budi Kundaran, a former Indian wicket keeper are from Mangalore. Ravi Shastri, who represented India for several years in international cricket as an all-rounder and captained the team, is of Mangalorean descent. Surfing Mangalore hosted the first edition of Indian Open of Surfing in 2016. Mantra Surf Club, located at Mulki has trained surfers to represent India at the International Surfing Association World Sup and Paddleboard Championship, held in Fiji. The second edition of Indian Open of Surfing was also held in Mangalore. Football Football is also quite popular in the city and is usually played in the Maidens' grounds, with the Nehru Maiden being the most popular venue for domestic tournaments. Dakshina Kannada District Football Association DKDFA, annually organizes the Independence Day Cup on the occasion of Independence Day at district football grounds adjacent to Nehru Maiden. Various schools and colleges from across Dakshina Kannada, Udupi, and Kodagu districts participate and the matches are conducted under seven categories. Higher primary school boys and girls, high school boys and girls, PUC boys, college boys, PUC girls and college girls. Chess chess is also a popular indoor sport in the city. Mangalore is the headquarters of South Kanara District Chess Association SKDCA, which has hosted two All India Open chess tournaments. Traditional sports Traditional sports like Kambala buffalo race, contested in water-filled paddy fields, and Korikata cockfight are very popular in the city. The Kambala of Kadri is a traditional sports event organized within the city limits. A locality in Mangalore named Kadri Kambala is named after this sport. Plikula Kambala is yet another Kambala event organized within the city. Kite festivals International kite festivals are organized in Panambur Beach which attract kite enthusiasts from countries like France, Germany, Netherlands, Australia and United Kingdom. The city's own group of kite enthusiasts, Team Mangalore, participates with kites named Kathakali, Yaksha, Gajaraja, Buddha Kola, Pushpaka Vimana, Garuda and Vibhishana. Other southern sports such as tennis, squash, billiards, badminton, table tennis and golf are played in the numerous clubs and gymkhanas. Pilakula Nisargadama, an integrated theme park, has a fully functional nine-hole golf course at Vimanjor. U.S. Malya Indoor Stadium offers sporting facilities for badminton and basketball in the city. Media. Mangaluru Samachara, the first ever newspaper in Kannada, was brought out by Rev. Hermann Friedrich Mogeling of the Basel Mission in 1843. The first ever Kannada to English dictionary was published in Mangalore by Ferdinand Kittel in 1894. Major national English language newspapers such as Times of India, The Hindu, The New Indian Express, Deccan Herald and Digiworld publish localized Mangalore editions. The Maidipu, Mogavira, Samparka contact and Safala success are well-known Tulu periodicals in Mangalore. Popular Konkani language periodicals published in the city are Rakno Guardian, Konkani Durvam Konkani Treasure and Kanak offering. Berry periodicals like Jyoti Light and Swatantra Bharata Independent India are also published from Mangalore. Among Kannada newspapers, Udayavani Morning Voice by Manipal Press Limited, Vijaya Karnataka Victory of Karnataka, Prajavani Voice of the People, Kannada Prabha Kannada Radiance, Varthabharathi Indian News, Samyukta Karnataka United Karnataka and Hosa Digantha New Horizon are popular. Evening newspapers such as Karavali Ale Waves from the Coast, Mangaluru Mitra Friend of Mangalore, Sanjivani Evening Voice and Jayakarana Rays of Victory are also published in the city. The Konkani language newspaper Kodial Kabar is released fortnightly. 
Malayalam newspapers such as Malayalam Manorama Malayalam Entertainer and Madhyamam Medium publish localized Mangalore editions. The state-run, nationally broadcast Doordarshan provides both national and localized television coverage. Cable television also provides broadcast cable channels of independently owned private networks. Kanara TV and V4 Digital Infotech Network local multi-system operator transmits daily video news channels, live events and cultural programs happening in and around Mangalore through local channels. Conditional Access System CAS is available to all the television viewers in Mangalore City. Direct to Home DTH services are available in Mangalore via Dish TV, Tata Sky, Sun Direct DTH, Airtel Digital TV, Reliance Big TV and Videocon D2H. All India Radio Air has a studio at Kadri with frequency 100.3 MHz that airs program during scheduled hours. Mangalore's private FM stations include Radio Mirchi 98.3 FM, Big 92.7 FM and Red 93.5 FM. Radio Sarang 107.8 is a community radio run by St. Aloysius College. There are multiple local TV channels which telecast programs, news in Tulu, Konkani, Bari, and Kannada. Nama TV, V4 News and Spandana are some of the local TV channels. Nama Kudla and Posa Kuril are the Tulu channels dedicated to Tulu programs. Mangalore is home to the Tulu film industry, which releases one film per month on average. Popular Tulu films include Kadala Mage Son of the Sea and Sutta the Cleansing Rites. Tulu dramas, mostly played in the town hall at Hampankata, are very popular. In 2006, a Tulu film festival was organized in Mangalore. Tulu Cinematsava 2015 was organized in January 2015. Topic utility services Electricity in Mangalore is regulated by the Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation Limited and distributed through Mangalore Electricity Supply Company Major industries like Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemicals MRPL and Mangalore Chemicals and Fertilizers MCF operate their own captive power plants. Potable water to the city is supplied from the vented dam, constructed across the Netravati River at Thumb, 14 km 9 miles from Mangalore. The Karnataka Urban Development and Coastal Environment Management Project aims to improve safe water supply systems and reduce leakage and losses in the distribution system in Mangalore. The official garbage dumping ground of Mangalore is in Vimanjore. The city generates an average of 175 tons per day of waste, which is handled by the Health Department of the Mangalore City Corporation. Fixed line telecom services are offered alongside GSM and Code Division Multiple Access (CDMA) mobile services. Mangalore is the headquarters of the Dakshina Kannada Telecom District, the second largest telecom district in Karnataka. Prominent broadband internet service providers in the city include Tata Indicom, Airtel and DataOne by BSNL. Bharti Airtel, Vodafone India, Reliance Geo and Idea Cellular have launched 4G LTE service in the city. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Mangalorean cuisine is largely influenced by South Indian cuisine, with several cuisines being unique to the diverse communities of the region. Coconut and curry leaves are common ingredients to most Mangalorean curry, as are ginger, garlic and chili. Well-known Mangalorean dishes include kori roti, nir dosa, pundi, patrode, mangalore buns, mangalore bhaji, macaroon etc. Mangalorean cuisine is also known for fish and chicken dishes like bangyud pulamunchi, spicy sour silver gray mackerels, butai gassi, sardine semi gravy, anjal fry, Mangalorean chicken sukkah, kori roti, chicken ghee roast, etc. Since Mangalore is a coastal city, fish forms the staple diet of most people. The Konkani Hindu community's specialties include Dali Thoi, Bib Upkari, cashew based, Val Val, Avnis Ambi Sasam, Kaji Chako, Pagila Padi, and Shane Gashi. Mangalorean Catholic Sana Dukra Mas, Sana Idli fluffed with toddy or yeast, Dukra Mas pork, pork bifat, sorpatel, and the mutton biryani of the Bari Muslims are well known dishes. Pickles such as hapala, sandaj, and puli munshi are unique to Mangalore. Shendi, a country liquor prepared from coconut flour sap, is popular. 
Vegetarian cuisine in Mangalore, also known as Udupi cuisine, is known throughout the state and region. Tourism The city is called the Gateway of Karnataka and lies between the Arabian Sea and the Western Ghats. The various temples and buildings in Mangalore include the Mangaladevi Temple, Kadri Manjanatha Temple, St. Aloysius Chapel, the Rosario Cathedral, Milagres Church, Darga of Hazrat Sharif ul Madni at Ulal and the Zenith Bash Juma Masjid in Bundar. The city is also known for beaches such as Panambur, Tanurbavi, Nitk Beach, Sasahidlu Beach, Someshwara Beach, Ulal Beach, Kotekar Beach and Batapati Beach. Panambur and Thanirbavi beaches attract tourists from across the country. Panambur Beach has many facilities including jet ski rides, boating, dolphin viewing, food stalls, besides trained beach lifeguards and patrol vehicles to ensure the safety of the visitors. Savira Kambada Basadi is situated 34 kilometers 21 miles northeast of Mangalore in the town of Mudabidri. The Sultan Battery Watch Tower, built by Tipu Sultan, situated in Bolore, is on the banks of Gurupura River where one can take the ferry ride by paying small amount across the river and reach Tanirbavi Beach. Ajar Waterfalls is at the outskirts at about 12 kilometers 7.5 miles from the city. The city has developed and maintains public parks such as Pilakula Nisargadama, Kadri Park at Kadri, Tagore Park at Lighthouse Hill, Gandhi Park at Gandhinagar, Arise Awake Park at Karangalpadi and Corporation Bank Park at Nehru Maidan. Pilakula comprises the zoo, botanical garden, lake, water park, Manasa, planetarium, Swami Vivekananda planetarium, and a golf course, Pilakula Golf Course, which is set in an area of 35 acres. Mangalore Dussehra, a 10-day festival at Sri Gokarnathaswara Temple, attracts devotees from various states of India who visit Mangalore to witness Dussehra. Mangaladevi Temple is another temple which attracts devotees from all over India during Navaratri. Sister cities Mangalore is twinned with two Canadian cities Hamilton, Ontario since 1968 Delta, British Columbia since 2010 See also Economy of Mangalore List of tallest buildings in Mangalore List of beaches near Mangalore Dakshina Kannada Mangalore International Airport New Mangalore Port Notes <laughs>